Hey Greenwood members, Vix Patel, NSM Master Personal Trainer, here today with your dumbbell complex move. So we're going to first start with our dumbbell. It doesn't really matter what size. What you want to focus on is the technique that you have. Secondly, the amount of repetitions you can complete. Obviously, we have a little sh short supply of dumbbells, but that's okay. You can still some, get some good conditioning work out with this. The first one we're going to do is a squat to a raise. So we're going to take the dumbbell, both hands, give ourselves a good squat position, and then we do a raise. Squat to raise. Notice my feet are a little bit outside my hips. As I go down, the dumbbell's between my feet, keeping my back straight, head up, and that goes that front raise. So again, squat to a front raise. Second movement will be a lunge to rotation. So we're going to have again the dumbbell out here, elbows bent 90 degree angles, take my lunge position, rotate, come back. Other side, dumbbell, rotate, come back. From the side, lunge, and notice I'm rotating towards the front leg. So my left leg's in front, I rotate to my left. My right leg's in front, rotate to my right. That's your lunge with rotation. Your third exercise is going to be a RDL with a row. So I'm going to do it sideways. Dumbbells on my right side, right foot is off the ground. Go into my RDL, give me a row, back to the top position. RDL, row, back to the top position. Again, focus on your control of the movement more than the resistance. Here, row, back to that top position. That's your third movement. Fourth movement will be a touchdown. It's basically a single leg squat, but what we're gonna do is, again, shifting my weight to my left side, right hands up, right foot's up, go down like I'm trying to touch my left toe, curl and then I press. So again, don't worry about your resistance as much on this as a form of technique. So again, keeping my squat position, chest is up, go down as much as I can, then I tap my toe if I need to. If that's too difficult, you can have your toe down, but most of the weight on that left side. But try to have the weight up off that leg and then do your press. That's your fourth movement. Your fifth movement is gonna be your crunch with a dumbbell to a sit through. So we're beyond the ground, crunch position. As I crunch, my head and body sit through the movement. My arms are straight and locked. As I come up with my crunch, my body goes through, head diving through, working that shoulder mobility all the way back as far as I can. So, review. Dumbbell squat to front raise. Second, lunge to rotation. Third, RDL row. Fourth, touchdown to curl press. And fifth, dumbbell crunch to sit through. There's your dumbbell complex for the day.